Details on what could have possibly motivated Kansas City Chiefs player Jovan Belcher to kill his girlfriend Cassandra Perkins and then himself have been slowly emerging. We have been on top of this story when it first broke and our Beth Vaughn is live now down at the Kansas City Police Headquarters with more. Beth? Jow Jow, we're hoping to obtain the audio files from Saturday morning from the moments that Kansas City Police discovered that the man behind the gun was Chief's linebacker Javon Belcher. Now, the legal department for the uh, police are upstairs right now trying to decide what they want to release to us, but we hope to bring you that perspective of this murder suicide by the end of the day. That's what I've been told by police. But we just learned moments ago that Javon Belcher and Cassandra Perkins' bodies have been released. Released to their families. What that indicates to us is that the autopsies have been completed. However, the results from an autopsy typically take some time of weeks often, so we'll have to wait for those results. We'll continue to request that information from police, actually the Jackson County Coroner's Office, as it could shed light on exactly what caused Belcher to commit murder and then to commit suicide. The couple's families have really stayed quiet and private thus far, but we have heard from neighbors and also so friends that the couple were seemingly happy. Now there has been speculation about whether or not the birth of their daughter three months ago might have added stress on their relationship, but none of that has been confirmed yet. For now we're live in Kansas City, Beth Vaughn, 41 Action News.